Alrighty, what is going on you guys? This is the Warren and you are coming back to another pack opening video. Now, this is the advent of Dragon Majesty. Now, I've done pack openings for Dragon Majesty. I've done two sets of Latios and two sets of Latias. It's super hard to find these packs right now, you guys. I've gone to Target. They're almost all off the shelves in Target. I've gone to Walmart. I only found one at Walmart when I was finding the Latios packs. I had to go to two separate places to get one pack a piece. It just wasn't worth it. Now, I'm going to be doing some hunting next week. I don't really want to spend my weekend driving all out and all over the place to try and find maybe two of these packs somewhere i'm gonna let the craze die down a little bit and then back monday or tuesday i'll be hunting for these packs again um but what i will be doing is i finally found something that i've been looking for for months and that is actually a charizard gx premium collection box i have wanted this tin and as you see here i'm gonna whoop right there I have wanted this tin since I saw it. It doesn't even fit in the friggin' camera. It's so big. I can show it to you guys back here like that. So you can see it. Oh, kind of like right there. There you go. Something along those lines. So you guys can see it right here. Um, this is something that I've been looking to get just because Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, he was my first starter in Red Virgin when I played Pokemon all those years ago, back in the early 90s. Um, well, Charmander was my starter, and obviously it evolves into Charizard. Uh, but I've been looking for this box. Now, I haven't been looking for this box because I've been GX box hunting. I haven't really. I've been going for uh, a bunch of different packs. Celestial Storm, I've been trying to complete that, uh, that pack list. I haven't got got most of these boxes and the reason why is because i feel like it's a pretty hefty price tag for something that like 50 percent of the box you're not really gonna use use and it's not fun to really open some of this so uh but i did finally find charge the charizard box so i figured why not now what frustrated me about this and it's not this box in particular it was the other boxes. Now, I got this from a Barnes & Noble, okay? Now, if you don't know, or if you don't have a Barnes & Noble in your area, Barnes & Noble carries Pokemon cards. They normally carry... Uh, ooh, that is a big card. Uh, you guys can't see it. The friggin' massive card, right? Right there. That card is, like, half in the slip. So, like, right here... Um, it's outside of the packaging. I don't actually know how to open this without, like, breaking this card and throwing stuff. Um, but the thing that bothers me about these is I went into a Barnes & Noble and I was looking for these, th this in particular, uh, and I found a bunch of boxes. Now, the smaller boxes, like the Buzzwool GX, and, uh, I think it was... <coughs> I think what else it was. Oh, and then there was like a Raichu box and that stuff, which was cool. But the boxes were already opened. They were already opened. The, the front cover of it was torn open and the packs were rifled with it. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want this this box that's like smashed. Like, no, who wants that? No one. And that's what, I, that's what I was seeing. And I was frustrated, man. So I didn't, I didn't get anything. Um, all I could get was this, and this was, like, still not even in great condition. Um, I, I got it because I wanted it, but it wasn't even in great condition. Um, but as you guys can see, oh, man, it is super dark. Let me, oops, and I'm dropping part of this. That. Turn on my light so you guys can see some of the stuff up here. We're gonna, oop, right there. Man, it is still super dark. I wonder why it's so dark. Um, uh, let me turn this off in the background, my extra monitor, because I feel like that might be throwing off the coloration. Whoop. Let's see. Is it? Is that what was throwing it off? Yeah, there we go. That was what was throwing it off. And I don't even think I need this light now. Oh, actually, I could still do with that light. Um, so these, these are cool pins. Um, I love collecting pins, guys. I have a lanyard, I don't want to say full, but half full of them. Uh, and I'm, I'm collecting more and more. So if you guys see any cool ones out there that you don't see regularly, please let me know or send them to me. I'd be happy to get, get them as gifts. 
Um, or let me know. I'll buy them off you. I really don't care. You know, a few dollars for a pin is a, isn't a big deal when instead of you're spending a crazy amount of money for these packs. Oh, I'm trying to get this coin out of here without breaking it. Oh, there we go. Got the Charizard coin, which also I collect these coins. I'm, I mean, I pretty much am collecting these boxes regardless. I'm collecting them just for my own collection. I'm not collecting them to resell them in the future. I don't really think they're going to have much resale value or anything like that. Uh, so I don't, I don't do, I don't do it for that. I'm not out there for that. I'm sure there's some people are, but that's not me. Um, so the promo cards that came in the pack up in the front, obviously, um, we have Charizard GX. We've got Charmander. And we've got Charmeleon. So what is this? Pack 147, huh? What is pack 147? I've got to see. Uh, I really don't know. I think I've already sorted them. I may have a pack 147 now that I'm looking all over here, uh, but I've got to see which, which pack it belongs to. My assumption, my assumption is that it's X and Y because some of the packs in here are X and Y, uh, but I could be wrong. It could be Sun and Moon. I, I really, I really don't know, uh, but we got a few of these to open. So the box comes with, let's see, it comes with one, two, three. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs of varying packs. So we have Guardians Rising, Burning Shadows, uh, Sun and Moon, and Steam Siege. And then we've got the big collector card in the back. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to take out these packs... So that they're in front of me so i'm not reaching around behind me trying to get these go oh this is gonna fuss with me there we go we're gonna do that we're gonna pull these packs out so you have an easier time opening them uh i don't show the uh i do not show the codes on camera some people that message me in the videos ask me you know ask me for codes don't ask me for codes in the video guys um if you're interested in them, I always post I always post the codes inside of a inside of a Reddit link. I post them to the first people who ask. So if you come into the video and you ask for the code me to show them in the videos, I do not show them in the videos. I normally send them to a person that asks. Um this is the full art collector card. It's freaking huge. I'm a little bit mad because it's bent. Um you guys can see it's like wobbly and bent. Uh, this is part of the thing that I was talking about where it's like this box wasn't in super great condition But none of the boxes were this is the only one that I've been looking for so I purchased it But normally I wouldn't even purchase it because it was really in bad condition um, But we are gonna get into some of these packs now the cool thing about these boxes is that There's a high likelihood that they haven't necessarily been tampered with so you have a better chance of finding something cool in them but I don't hold my breath based on the way these boxes look. So if I don't find anything cool, I'm sorry, guys. I really am. Um, so pack number one of six. We open up the Burning Shadows pack. And we are starting off with a Venipede. We've got ourselves a Horsey. We've got ourselves a Cutie Fly. We've got ourselves a Ladybug. Oh, this is Burning Shadows. Oh, okay. So that's what these are. These other cards are a part of. Herp Derp. I should have actually looked at that. <laughs> um, we've got ourselves an Alolan Grimer. We've got ourselves a Reverse Rare Stuffle. We've got ourselves a Vila Plume. Okay, not, not so bad. Um, we're going to put these down here. We've got ourselves a Lightning Energy. So... As we know, that goes into the reject pile. We've got ourselves a Kiawe. Got ourselves a Metapod. And we've got ourselves a Porygon 2. Um, I am looking for this in reverse rare. I I found I've got it. Actually, I think now I have the full collection, because I don't think I had it in standard. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that I had it in reverse rare. No, I'm pretty sure I had it in standard and I was looking for the reverse rare, but I may be mistaken. I'm going to have to go back and look, 
just because I, I it will bother me the rest of this video. Um, next pack we're opening. We're opening up the standard Sun and Moon set. Uh, this is pack of 149. I don't have very many of these cards either. They don't sell a lot of these near me. It's a pain to get these. Um, and I don't want to buy friggin' $40 boxes to get them. That's also just no. Uh, but first off, we've got a Surskit. We've got a Fomantis. We've got a Moralo, which I have the fairy version of that from the other pack. We've got ourselves a Sandigast. We've got ourselves a Dratini. We've got ourselves a Brion. We've got ourselves a Full Art Kukui. So, scratch what I said about pulling nothing out of these. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we got ourselves a Kukui. Uh, we've got ourselves a Dragonair. We've got ourselves a Charger Bug. I think this is the first Charger Bug I've actually pulled. Uh, and we've got ourselves a Crushing Hammer. Um, as I said, I, have, I haven't really opened a lot of the base set Sun and Moon packs. I don't know where to find them. Um, and I don't really shop a lot online for cards. Because even when it's like, oh, get it from so-and-so. It's, it's never been opened, blah, blah, blah. I've never had good luck buying cards online. Uh, whenever I sell to people stuff online and I sell them like 50 card lots, I tell them. It's like, oh, it comes with X amount of rares, X amount of hollows, this and this. So, you know, if you want to pull it, you can. And I don't just put a bunch of dupes in every single pack. It's a non-dupe 50-card pack uh, that, you know, has X amount of rares and uncommons and things like that. So you're guaranteed to get certain cards. But when I get these other things online, I feel like I'm opening up a bunch of packs that have already been, like, scalped. And I don't, I don't want that. You know, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money or stuff online when that happens. I'd rather go to a store and weigh my packs like an adult. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually weigh my packs in stores. Sometimes I do, but usually I do not. I just kind of go with luck of the draw and hope that I'm getting something good. Um, I would weigh my packs, but honestly, like the stores around me are way too busy and I don't have time for that. Uh, maybe, maybe if, I, if this becomes more full-time, then maybe I will, but I don't have, current, I don't have time for that right now. Um, next pack we're opening, we've got ourselves a Dino, or a Dino. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I believe it's, I believe it's Dino, but uh, we got a Litwick. We've got a Nosepass. We've got a Chimchar. This is a pack set of 114. I believe this is X and Y. This was the X and Y Steam Siege pack. Yeah, this is the Steam Siege pack. Um, we've got ourselves a Nidoran. We've got ourselves an Oshawott. We've got ourselves a Full Art Steelix EX. So probably not messed with um, considering those two. I say that and then there's no energy in this pack. So maybe it was messed with. Uh, okay, whatever. We've got ourselves a, a Drift Blim. We've got ourselves a Greedy Dice. And we've got ourselves an Azumarill. I think with X and Y, well, that was the, uh, um, they have the half cards. I actually have this Azumarill already. Uh, I've pulled these packs before. I've opened, like, maybe five or six Steam Sieges. And I happened to have just pulled that card once before. So I'm not, like, super excited to see it. But I think there's more cards that are like that, that are half, half of a uh, type. Or, I guess, dual typed. Uh, next pack we're opening, we are going for the um, the other Burning Shadows pack. And then we're actually going to finish out with both of the Guardian Risings. And we're just going to kind of go from there. Um, Alright, so let's see. Oh, I'm going to move this out of here because I'm just crushing it with my elbow right now. Alright, we've got Togedemaru. We've got a Wimpod. We've got a Meow. We've got a Magikarp. We've got a Krogunk. We've got a Reverse Rare Kiawi, so we now have that complete. And we've got a Raichu, Standard Rare. 
This is the second Raichu that I pulled. I did pull an Alolan Raichu from another pack. But Raichu being one of my favorite Pokemon, I'm always happy to pull one. So I'm going to put these down in the standard pile here. We're going to toss that Fire Energy into the Reject pile. Um, we have an Olivia. We've got another Kiawe to go with the other one. And we've got another Porygon 2. So, eh, okay. I got some dupes. Whatever. If I didn't have Porygon 2 in uh, non hollow before, now I've got two. And I've got one to trade. So, you know, it is what it is. I bring, and I'll show you guys at the end. I'll, I'll show you the, the giant box that I bring with me when I go places to trade. I, I carry this gigantic box with me. And people look at me like I'm a nutcase, but I'm like, whatever cards you need from these sets, I probably have. If it's common, rare, or uncommon, I probably have it in here. And I go and I trade with people. Uh, Alright guys, so this is one of my first sets of Guardian Rising, so hoping that I'm getting a good pull here. Um, first pack, uh, first setup, we've got a Machop. We've got ourselves a Trubbish. What is this, at a 145? Yeah, I don't think I've ever pulled these before. Uh, we've got ourselves a Delibird. We've got ourselves a Jangma O, even though I've seen that art before. We've got ourselves a Tello. We've got ourselves an Absol Reverse Rare. Very nice. Very nice. We've got ourselves first freaking pack from this, and we get a full heart holla. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at Oh man, I love the texture on these cards. I really do. But oh I you know what? This box, even though it looked opened, it most likely was not, because who would leave those cards in there? I don't know. I really don't, but I'm <laughs> I'm super stoked. Uh <laughs> we've got a we've got Meetang. We've got Hakamo'o. And we've got a Whimsicott. So we're almost all the way through. We've got one more pack to open, but honestly, I'm already so stoked with what I have. I'm like, I, I'm not going to open this up and get anything better. I'm already, you know, just buried in cards that I'm, that I'm thrilled to have gotten. So it's like now this is making me feel like I should go out and buy more GX boxes, but I'm just like, ah, my wallet, my wallet's screaming at me like, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys, last pack. Last pack. The second set of Guardian Rising. We've got ourselves another Nose Pass, but of a different kind. We've got a Wimpod of a different kind. We've got a Gumi. We've got a Whelmer. We've got a Beldum. We've got a Whimsicott Reverse Rare. Very nice to add. We've got a... Oh man, I was hoping for the hollow hype to continue. We've just got a standard version of Lilligant, which I'll add it to this little stack over here. We're going to take that energy, throw it into the reject pile. We've got a Rescue Stretcher. We've got a Hakamo'o. And we've got an Energy Lotto. So I, I don't really, I think maybe I've opened up one of these packs before, but I don't, don't I honestly don't know. I really don't. So I'm going to have to go back and look through what I've opened before and see if I have them. I'm not, I'm, I'm leaning towards no, just because of how this has been. I'm leaning towards no, but I mean, really, who, who knows? I may have, I may have. And then you just heard me kind of oh, have a little heart attack there. I'm going to show you why I almost had a heart attack in a second. Um, but we're going to do a quick little roll through. Alrighty guys, so full art holla going down into this nice beautiful pile here. We've got the Absol reverse rare. We've got the Whimsicott reverse rare. We've got Professor Kukui full art. Nice and beautiful there. We've got ourselves a Brion. We've got ourselves a Steelix EX. We've got ourselves an Oshawott. We've got ourselves a Raichu, regular rare, fighting a Krogunk, apparently. 
We've got ourselves that reverse rare Kiawe to go with the other Kiawes. And then we've got ourselves a standard rare Violet Plume and a reverse rare Stuffle. So honestly, I'm super thrilled to get these pulls because most of them I don't have. Some of these packs are new to me. Uh, Guardians Rising is, is new to me. I've never opened them before or I don't think I've opened them before. If I have, I've opened like maybe one or two. And I'm, I'm always happy to get new cards because it means that my collection grows. And that is, that's what I want. I want to grow my collection as much as possible. Um, just a brief little thing. The reason that you guys saw me freak out there for a second when I hit something. I hit with my elbow. Um, I'm just going to kind of pass that over there. Um, this is what I hit. So these are, and there's, a, there's also another piece in here show you so that um those are all of my dupes of uh, i believe it's i want to say it's celestial storm i want to say that it is but i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah that's it's too much like it really is it's absolutely too much um i have so many of these cards that I don't even know what to do with them. These are the cards after I sorted them. Um, and I'll show you guys right now what it looks like normally for me when I'm, when I'm showing cards or I bring cards with me. Um, and you guys will see all the ones that I have. So on my desk, on my desk here, I'm trying not to drop the camera because it's very fragile. So we have all of these cards here. We've got all of these cards here. We've got more packs to open over there. And then I've got two binders completely full of uh, four or five sets that I've completed. And then this is the box that I bring with me that is currently half empty because I'm sorting through the other cards. Um, this is the box I normally bring, which is completely full normally. And it comes with all these cards and I bring in and I'm like, hey guys, this is what I have to trade with. And usually I can find some people that are willing to trade some stuff. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Um, I do have one other video that I'm going to be making today. So you guys will see it a little bit after this. Um, I will probably release it tomorrow. Um, but I have a few different things that I got to go through. Um, what I would like you guys to do is whatever your favorite card that you saw from the poll today, please drop that comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite card. What was the thing that you saw? What's something that you liked about the videos? I really do appreciate your feedback and I love getting involved with you guys because you guys are what makes it all worth it. Uh, with that being said, also, you guys can connect with me on my social media. Everything is in the description down below. You can check it all out there. So, again, thank you guys for coming out, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.